Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new PvP round of Dragon Fable. So, back in the comments, uh, Jamie Dean Gway has actually challenged us to, ta us to take on his uh, Avatar of Time character using a number of basic class without using a stun, as well as being only allowed one potion. So, we're gonna try to do this. I saw a couple of classes that seems to be nearly guaranteed wins, so we're gonna try this using the base road to start off. So let's do this! Okay, so we're starting off against Desperation, a level 85 avatar of time. You can have a look at his various stats. Strangely enough, it's not nearly as bad as I expected. Crit is a little on the high end, as well as damage, although his all resist isn't as high as it could be. There is also the fact that the stats changed recently, so now luck doesn't really do the same thing that it used to do. In order to boost damage now, you would probably have to use Int to increase actual critical damage, whereas Strength actually gives more than it used to. So I've actually swapped my stats because uh, it costs less right now, although I can't sort of predict when Verlyrus is gonna change the game engine, so there is that. So anyhow, let's try to get us started, shall we? Hmm. Okay, starting up against a blind actually seems like a really good idea, so let's do this. Bam! Go kitty! Starting up against the usual move, nothing too much to worry about. There's a Bryden Ball there, but still, we should be fine. Let's go with Rapid Attack. Bam! Kitty! Second hit with that uh, big Dracolich thing. Taking some damage, but we can still handle it. So next up will be Throw. Bam! For 300 damage. We've got that big cannon there, which should deal a fair amount of damage. And now, based on what recorded evidence we actually have of the Avatar of Time, this actually means that the next attacks are gonna hit us very hard, so now would be the time to, uh, to pop the smoke. Let's do this! More defense point. And hopefully his bonus and critical won't be nearly enough to touch us. Owie! Oh well. Guess he got lucky, I suppose. Oh well, that's fine. So let's try out another class then. Okay, so for the second try, we're gonna be going as a ranger. Let's do this. About the same, although the ranger has a lot more tools to use, so hopefully this should help us out some. So what to start off with? Big question there. Hmm. Cripple reduces focus, huh? As well as this. Could probably start off with a kick, reduce some of the damage we're gonna be taking as it is. Okay. Now then, what else? We could probably use Armor Slash. Deal some additional damage while we can. One thing I've been wondering though is whether these moves actually does anything special on your character. Lose yourself in destruction, minus 40 to all elements. How about that? That's not nice. Oh well, let's pop purge while we're at it. Bam. That will be lead to a fair amount of hits, but that is fine. So let's use Reflex to boost our avoidance. And see how this works. Hmm. That was a really big hit. Still managed to get through the avoidance shield, which is really strange. Anyhow, so we've got something that can actually help us with the rest. So let's just send in our Hawk and get a bunch of health. Sweet! So what does this thing do exactly? Hmm. Lots of hits, but not much else. Oh well, that is fine. Yeah, I'm affected by meanwhile, whatever it is. Hmm. 
Okay, so dealing a basic dot, that's pretty much what it is. So we could use Dual Wheel, but I might as well use Room Blast while I'm at it. Yeah, that'll be plenty. What is that now? Hmm, that was probably a stun move. Sure looks like it, at least. And affected by Meanwhile, we can use Sky Assault. Deal some damage as it is. Not nearly as much as I could have pulled off, really. Hmm, how about that? Seems to have trouble hitting us all of a sudden. That's rather strange. Oh well. So we can go with Dual Wield. And if he doesn't do something in the next turn, well, he's toast. Uses up the last of its energy. And that's pretty much a wrap as far as I'm concerned. So let's see. Plus 80 accuracy with tracker shot. That's plenty. Great. Okay. Might as well give this another try with what I actually planned to use in the first place. So let's have a look. Okay, so for that last attempt, we're going to be going as a Paladin, a class that has a ton of healing potential if uh, arranged properly. So let's see if it can actually stand up to the Avatar of Time. So we've got a bunch of choices here, but I'm thinking we'll just start off with either the usual to actually remove the uh, armor resist that he has against light. That should be plenty as far as I know. Also, the fact that I've got the Stan Orb equipped, which is gonna increase my healing, as well as the slimy necklace that we've heard about before, that actually really increased uh, our he healing resist. So we're about at minus 60, which is a ton. So yeah, increased damage. That's about 300 in one blow. Wow. Owie. Okay, from there on, we definitely want to have our blind up with Light of Dawn. I actually wasn't aware in the beginning that the uh, Light of Dawn actually blinded. I learned that against the uh, weird duo and that uh, one punch bear. That was a heck of a surprise there. Okay, that is done. Just pop a greater heal for good measure. And see if we can somehow survive that. And as it turns out, we did. Okay, so our next choice, we could probably go into a bless or take a potion. I'm not sure which one to take, honestly. Could probably take a great gamble with Holy Rat and hope we manage. Is that dot still there? Removing all defenses. Yeah, kinda is. So potion or not, or blessing. Hmm. Kinda wanna use Bless. Sounds like that was an F decent choice. You probably pop into his stun after that, so a barrier is probably a good idea. Well, it wasn't the stun, but uh, that was a heck of a hit. So we can use the hit on Alpha to make him damage himself. And he's gonna get stuck. That happens with the Avatar of Time, unfortunately. I'm actually not sure whether the reset actually heals him or only us. I'm assuming us. Okay, so that is dealt with. We can go into Holy Rat now. Yeah, that'll be plenty. Hmm. Big hit, but it seems the shield was still there. Okay. So use Light of Dawn to uh, inflict our blind. We're not dealing nearly as much damage as we could, namely because of that uh, thing we did earlier. It's a shame. And yep, Paladin failed because I didn't want to take a potion. Could have done it otherwise, but that is fine. 
So anyhow, I'm afraid that's gonna be it for the time being. Thank you for watching everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, please leave a comment below. And that was the Great Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye.